If you get excited easily by big ideas, but then after that initial excitement fades, you really start to lose motivation, then this video is for you because I'm gonna teach you my two-step formula for becoming insanely motivated. This is something that I developed for myself because I never used to see myself as a motivated person and now I see myself as motivated AF. And I really am the most motivated person that I know now and it's seriously not because because I woke up one day and was just motivated. In fact, I never wake up motivated. I always wake up dreading taking action because even though I really want my goals, for some reason after that initial excitement happens, my brain goes, now we don't wanna do this anymore. And I figured out a formula that exceptionally works for me and I taught it to my clients and it works for them too. So I'm gonna teach it to you today. If you don't know me, my name's Sarah. I'm a high performance coach. And on this channel, I teach you how to get yourself to do what you say you're gonna do and take a ton of action towards your goals. So I have created a lot of results from becoming motivated. I blogged every day for two years in a row. I meditated every day for a year. I built a business to multiple six figures. I did 50 push-ups in a row. I did so many different things because I mastered getting myself to be motivated. And it is not something that you can expect to come naturally. This is a skill that you have to learn. This is what all the most motivated people in the world understand is they get that they can't just expect themselves to be motivated or even stay motivated. You have to constantly be using this formula that I'm going to teach you today. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the formula is, but then you have to stick around to learn how to actually use it because just knowing these words isn't going to help you. You have to know how to actually apply them. So the formula for motivation is desire plus belief. And if you do not have desire and you do not have belief or either or any combination of them, you will not feel motivated to go after your goal. For example, I know that right now I could go down to the shops and just buy some dog food. I totally believe 100% that I could do that. I've got the money. There's a shop across the road from me. I could do it, but I don't have a dog. So I have no motivation at all to go after that idea or that goal. Similarly, let's say that you had the goal to go to Mars and you had the dream and you really wanted it because you've always dreamed of being an astronaut, but you really don't believe that it's actually physically possible. You're not even going to try, right? So it's so important that we have both desire and belief, but how do you get them? How do you get more of them? Let's talk about that. So think about the thing that you want to get motivated for right now. If it's a goal or a dream or an idea and ask yourself this, am I not feeling motivated right now because I don't have enough desire or because I don't have enough belief? So let's talk about how you activate desire. And I say activate because desire is an emotion. It is felt in your body. It's a vibration. It is a feeling that you have and feelings or emotions come from what you are thinking. So in order to activate that feeling of desire in your body, you have got to start thinking thoughts that make you desire your goal or your dream, whatever it is you're going after. You have to think the thoughts that make you want it. So when you thought about this goal for the first time, when you had the idea initially, you probably had a lot of thoughts along the lines of, I really want this. This would be so cool. How amazing would that be? And now those same thoughts, either you don't think them anymore, or they just don't work for you anymore. And so what you need to do is you need to find the thoughts and there might be one in particular that really sparks it for you that creates desire in your body. For me, a thought that works really well is I want this. Anytime I hear myself say, I want this, my brain automatically goes and looks for all the reasons why that's true. And your brain will do the same. But if it doesn't, you can ask yourself, why do I want this? and you get to come up and generate all of the reasons why you really want it because the end result is going to be amazing. When you like remind yourself of all of those things that you automatically thought in the beginning, you generate that desire again. So for me, I want this is really an effective thought, but for you, it might be something different. Maybe it's, this is going to be so fun. Maybe it's the thought I was born for this. You get to decide whatever thought it is for you that really creates the desire. And notice that the desire is always available. And here's how we know this. Because if I told you right now, there's a million dollars at the end of that goal. All you have to do is do this one task today and I'm gonna give you a million dollars. You would feel intense desire to want that. That is available to you at all times. 
There doesn't actually have to be a million dollars there. You just have to think the thoughts that you would be thinking if there was a million dollars there. So if there was a million dollars, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so worth it. I can't wait. I'm gonna do it right now. You can think those thoughts even if there's not a million dollars. But figure out what thought it is for you right now. What would generate desire for you to go after your goal? But it's also really important to know that you don't actually have to have desire to do the actions. You just have to have desire to want the outcome. If you have enough desire for the outcome, you will want to do the actions even if you don't want to do the actions. So for example, if you are supposed to pick your kid up from school and you really want them to come home because that's a nice outcome, but you don't really feel like going, you're still gonna go because you want the outcome badly enough. So you have to think about why you really want the outcome. And then if you also wanna think about why you wanna do the action, that's a bonus. But know that you don't need to want to do the thing. You don't need to be motivated to actually do the thing in order to do it. You just have to be motivated to get the final result. Okay, so now hopefully you're feeling really full of desire and you really want the thing, but you're still not gonna be motivated to actually take the actions unless you believe you can actually get it. And this is where so many of us go wrong. We're like, we really want the thing, but there's part of us in the back of your brain that's saying, I don't know, I don't think you can really do it. Is it really possible? Is it really gonna work? You have got to find the belief that you can do it. So I've actually got a story about this. I was in Phoenix, Arizona at a conference and the leader of the conference stood up at the front and said, here's a Chanel bag. I'm selling it for $10. And then she just sat there completely quiet. And for a moment, everybody was just like looking around, like, what is she saying? And then suddenly someone from the back runs up to the front and hands her a $10 note. And we all realized, oh, she was actually offering it in that moment. And a lot of the audience had the desire for the Chanel handbag, but they didn't think that they could get it. Almost nobody believed that that's what she was offering. Everyone was like, oh, okay, there's a catch, or like, we're gonna have to wait, or we're gonna have to sign up at the back of the room or something. But she was just sitting there in silence and waiting to see how long it would take us to believe that she was actually offering it for $10. And once somebody did that, they ran up to the front and they got it. If you don't believe that you can get the thing, you're not gonna run to the front of that room or you're not gonna go after your goal. You have to believe that you're gonna get it. No matter how much you want it, you've gotta believe it's possible. Now, how do you do that? How do you train your brain to actually believe that you can get it? Because here's the thing, your brain is just constantly looking for evidence for why a certain thought is true. And that's how it becomes a belief. A thought becomes a belief when you have evidence for it. But the thing is, there is evidence for absolutely everything. Every thought that you could possibly think, you can find evidence for it. That's how we have people with so many different views in the world. Everyone has a different idea about something because everyone is looking at different evidence. All the evidence is there all the time and you get to choose what you focus on. So if you focus on all the reasons why you haven't done it and why it's never gonna work, then you're going to see all the evidence for that and that belief is gonna be strengthened. But if you focus on all the reasons why you actually have done it before and why it is going to work, then your brain's going to see evidence for that and you can look for it. You can start generating that evidence for your brain and you're gonna have that belief instead. So let's take the example of thinking, I've never done this before. We're gonna flip that, it's gonna become, I have done this before and we're gonna come up with evidence for why that's true. Here is my evidence for why you have done it before because absolutely everything that you've ever done in your life was built on a skill that you already had. So for example, when you started walking, it, you didn't just start walking with no skills. The reason you could walk is because before that you could crawl. It was built on the skill of crawling. And before that it was crawling was built on the skill of kicking your legs. So even when the first time you walked, you had never walked before, technically you had done all of the things that walking required. You had learned how to crawl, you'd learned how to kick your legs, you had probably stood up vertically, you'd done all of the pieces and now you were just putting them into place. It's the same with your goal right now. Whatever it is that you wanna do, you have already done all of the pieces. You just have to put them together in a new way. So maybe your goal is to start a YouTube channel and you're thinking, but I've never made a video before. Is that really true? Have you never made a video before? Or have you actually been in front of a camera? Nearly everybody on the planet has been in front of a camera. 
Have you also spoken before? Yes, probably. Have you also written things before? Yes. All of those skills build together to make a video. So when your brain is telling you, I've never done this before, and you flip it to be, I have done this before, that is some evidence because I've done everything before, all of the things that I'm saying that I haven't done before, I just need to put them in a new combination. I actually have done this before. Now that belief starts to feel true, right? Even though just a moment ago, I've never done this before, felt really true. You get to come up with the evidence and that is what is going to make the belief an actual belief and not just a thought or a crazy idea. So you wanna take the thing that's stopping you from believing you can do it, flip it around and come up with evidence for it. You might have to do this a few different times, like if your brain has got quite a few different reasons why it doesn't believe it's going to work or why it doesn't believe you can actually achieve the thing. You might have to flip quite a few different beliefs and come up with evidence for those. But once you do that, your job is to remind your brain of this as often as possible because what's gonna happen now is the desire and the belief are gonna drop because you're gonna forget these thoughts. This is natural, it's normal, it's totally okay. When I wake up in the morning, I do not have all of the thoughts instantly pop into my head of why I really want this and why I can totally do it. I have to activate them constantly and remind myself all the time why they're true. And what I do is I keep them in a list on my notion so I can look at them every day. And I journal on them, I think about why they're true, and I solidify them and bring them back in. So I'm not expecting that I'm just gonna wake up motivated or that I'm just gonna get motivated from a new idea. I activate that same feeling that you get from a new idea or a new goal by choosing those thoughts that I wanna think on purpose. So that is the formula for getting insanely motivated. You've gotta increase your desire and increase your belief. And you do that by changing what you are thinking on purpose and reminding yourself of that as often as possible. It does not matter if you fall off the track. If you notice yourself getting unmotivated, that is normal. All you have to do is bring yourself back. It's not about staying motivated. It is about your bounce back rate. How quickly can you come back to these thoughts all the time over and over to remind yourself of why you really want it and why you can achieve it. Now your brain is going to forget all this stuff. It is for sure going to get back to an unmotivated place and that is completely fine. What you want to do is keep that information, those thoughts in front of your brain as often as possible. You want to actually put them in front of you written down so that your brain is reminded as often as possible. And so what I recommend you do is you download my vision board notion template, which I'm going to link in the description below. In my how to create a vision board video, I actually created a template that you can use to keep your thoughts in front of you, have all of the beliefs and have all of the evidence. So if you want to be reminded of this and not fall off the wagon and just keep coming back as often as possible, you wanna have that information in front of your face. Make Make sure that you watch that vision board video and download the Notion template that goes with it. All right, that is my motivation formula. It's exactly how I do it. It gets me motivated every single time. I really hope it helped you. Leave me a comment if it did, or if you have any questions, don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next video.